Test one, two, test one, two. This is a test of the new Logitech Blue Sona Dynamic Super Cardioid Microphone. How does it sound? What does it sound like? How does it compare to the Shure SM7B? Let's check it out. Test one, two, test one, two. This is the sound of the legendary Shure SM7B. How does it sound in comparison to the new Blue Sona? I'm really curious about that. We might just have some fresh competition for the legendary Shure SM7B. I'm gonna let you guys decide. This is way too close for me. What is up, my friends? It's right back here and today we're going to be comparing the all new Logitech Blue Sona microphone to the legendary, the iconic Shure SM7B. Now, I want you guys to close your eyes at some points throughout this video. This way, you don't know which microphone it is that I'm talking into. I want to see if you can tell or hear the difference between these two microphones when I talk into them. So, I'm going to be going back and forth throughout this video between the Shure SM7B here and the Blue Sona microphone so you guys can get a good idea as to how each one sounds. What's interesting is is that I do have a cloud lifter that I'm using with the Shure SM7B. So this is a very power hungry microphone when it comes to gain. And I do have that cloud lifter to boost up that audio just a little bit. So I have the microphone wired up via XLR to the cloud lifter and the cloud lifter is wired up via XLR to the Zoom H4n Pro. Over here with the Blue Sona, I have it wired up just via XLR to the Zoom H4n Pro audio recorder. So this is a very easy microphone to just plug and play if you have an audio recorder if you have an audio mixer, it's easy to use. Basically, once you buy this microphone, you don't need much else. And that's the one, one of the great things about this microphone. With the Shure SM7B, you do need to have a cloud lifter. You need to have a bunch of other things, maybe even a pop filter. The Blue Sona has a built-in pop filter. And it, it, the Blue Sona, to me, it just feels like a more modern microphone, which is the reason why I bought it. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. And I just want you guys to know that I literally went to New York City yesterday and I stopped at B&H Photo. I picked up this Blue Sona microphone because I thought the color scheme would be perfect for my cookies and cream, quote unquote, cookies and cream, my favorite flavor of like everything, desk setup that I'm building back there. So it's going to be great. It's going to look great in my setup. It's going to be awesome as long as it sounds good. From what I've heard, the sound between these two microphones is they're about on par, honestly. When it comes to spoken words, you really, I don't know if there is a big difference that you guys could tell, but to me, there wasn't a really, really big difference aside from like the audio levels in some way, shape, or form. But I do think as far as like having an all-in-one microphone, the Blue Sona is definitely great. As far as like versatility, if you're gonna be like singing or recording music or something like that, I still think the Shure SM7B is going to be the way to go just because you have a little more flexibility, you have more more versatility and how you can get that audio and how you can capture that audio. Whereas the Blue Sona is going to satisfy the needs of any live streamer, any content creator, anybody who needs to have high quality audio in their videos, in their streams, whatever it may be. So yes, that is the, that's, that's a comparison guys between these two microphones. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.